Hello, I'm Antonio Canovas from Informatica's Global Customer Support and I I'm going to show in this video how to uh, configure, install and configure the uh, SQL in software in its client side, which is the, the part that is installed in, in PowerCenter server as uh, Oracle, DB2 and other databases. Um, I'm going to show all the steps from the beginning, how to get the software, how to install it and how to configure for uh, getting the connection ready and for this uh, I'm going to uh, show a specific example that it's uh, connecting um, a Linux uh, 64 bits uh, power center server to an Excel spreadsheet in uh, Windows 32 bits the first would be to get the software and you can uh, get it from our FTP server which is the which address is tsftp.informatica.com and there in you must use the validation uh, as, as the user password that you use for uh, logging into the support portal then if you go to updates uh, sequeling this this path you will find um, these three folders so for this specific uh, installation uh, for the client we are going to use the first folder logically this pdf is is very important i will show you uh, later so we need to know uh, what kind of installation uh, we are uh, going to in the PDF it is shown uh, like how mm, SQLin is, is a client server uh, tool that uh, allows to connect through different platforms and different bit rates this is an example uh, Unix to Windows similar that what we are going to do So let's go as we need the client for uh, Linux 64 bits. Let's go to uh, the Linux 64 folder and we would uh, download this specific file. Once in the Linux, I've got the, f uh, the software in the folder SQL in client here is the the file I just use the uh, terminus xvf and name of the file for uh, and compress it which gave me this directory And in the library, in the uh, directory lib64, is where the drivers are. And this specific one is the uh, driver that we're going to use um, through ODBC. We must remember this uh, path because uh, we're going to use it uh, when configuring the odbc.ini file and as well we need uh, to set some environment variables that uh, are going to use it this can be seen in the pdf i mentioned before the environment variables that we need are the odbc once ODBC home and ODBC ini if you uh, don't have already uh, set for other connections and uh, we're going to need that path to put in this new environment variable with the name sq lnk odbc home and add it 
on the LD library path. As you can see, I already done it. Just go to the environment and we can see the ODBC is pointing to the file, odbc.ini file, odbc home is where the uh, ODBC drivers are uh, installed. That those probably you already have uh, configured. I added that path in the LD library path and we're going to need uh, to set this uh, new one, the SQLNK ODBC home. Okay, this is the the environment uh, variables part. Now, if you go to the PDF, you can see that we need to create the entry for the uh, for this connection in the odbc.ini. This is uh, creating a DSN. Let's go for it. This is where it, it installed power center. This is the ODBC we are using. And here we have odbc.ini file. So I created this secret test uh, DSN for it. The driver is pointing to the library that uh, I shown before. The host uh, parameter is must point to the uh, Windows machine where the SQL in server part is listening and in the port that it's listening. We, you, you can see how to configure that part uh, and those uh, parameters seen in another video showing uh, the server side of the SQL in installation. So that's it. Once we uh, have all set, only need to uh, to test the the ODBC. Uh, connection and for that we have a tool that maybe you already know it's SSG ODBC oh, sorry SSG ODBC Linux 64 Pointing to the DSN we just created. And the user and password that uh, I set in the in the Windows uh, site for this connection. The connection is succeeded, so we can see What is in numbers, which is the the source name that uh, I gave to the uh, Excel spreadsheet, which is just the numbers and the and the number name. Uh, all this part of the Excel spreadsheet, you, you can you you will uh, have all the information from the uh, server side video, but I can show you. Uh, this is uh, the Excel, so. Uh, everything worked as expected. You will find uh, additional information in in those uh, 
two KB articles that is, are explaining the steps to configure a uh, connection to Excel, Access, the base. But uh, there are uh, a lot more of, of knowledge base articles uh, about problems or configurations or how to in working with SQL. That's uh, all for now. So we will be glad for hearing from you, uh, whether using uh, email or Twitter. And thanks for watching this video.